Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie, if you don't know me. I have a pet channel, and I talk all about my pets. And for today's video, we're going to be doing another video about dogs. I've been doing a lot of dog videos recently. It's no surprise. I really, really love my dog. She's a five-year-old Border Collie. If you haven't met her, her name is Ellie. You'll see her in a few minutes. But the past few videos, I kind of went over how I take care of her a little bit. I showed you her favorite products and how I groom her and stuff. So today I want to try a new product for her because I saw it, I thought it'd be really cool. And that gets us on to today's video sponsor, Pet Cube. So thank you Pet Cube for sponsoring this video. And let's get right into the video. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out this camera. This is the Pet Cube Bites 2 camera. And I think it's a really cool concept. If you guys know me, I love keeping my dog mentally stimulated. I have a Border Collie. She needs to be constantly mentally stimulated or she'll go crazy. That's kind of how really smart dogs are. Maybe you have a dog like mine and you can benefit from something like this. So when you're away, you can still keep interacting with them. So I just took it out of the box. So the first thing I noticed is it's like, it's like super solid. It's like heavy, which I was like kind of surprised about because I don't know, you just never expect a camera to be like super solid and heavy, but it's like really nice. The true test will be, will Ellie figure out where the treats are coming from and come and knock the camera over? And <laughs> that will be interesting to see how she reacts to it. I did see that there was an option to mount this camera on the wall. I'm not going to be doing that in this video because honestly, I don't even know where I would mount it because my dog is like everywhere and where her crate is, is not really where she'll be in front of the camera, if that makes sense at all. So I'm not gonna mount it, but there is an option to mount it. I also went ahead and I used the Pet Cube app to set up the camera, which literally took like two and a half seconds. It was super easy. So now I'm going to be going and I'm going to be testing it. So it's really easy. The top part here comes off. This is where the treats go. It comes with a bag of treats in here. They're wellness, grain-free treats. I'm just going to open them and dump a couple in here for right now. Oh my Lord. Oh. It's chicken, cherries, and spearmint, which is a very interesting combination. <laughs> My dog is literally the least picky dog in the world though, so I'm sure she'll love it regardless. You can use whatever treats you want in here. It can fit larger treats, it can fit smaller treats. So if your dog has a favorite treat, you can put it in here or you could break them up and make them even smaller. Um, I will probably always be using small treats because the only treats I use are like tiny. I like using smaller training treats for Ellie. Stick that baby on there and we're gonna go set it up. So I'll be right back with Ellie. So we're in my bedroom. Ellie's right here. She knows something's going on. She has already tried to get into the camera. <laughs> she smelled the treats in there and she put her mouth right up to the camera. <laughs> it was very funny looking. So I'm gonna use this camera to show you kind of how she interacts with the camera. I'm gonna step into the bathroom and let her interact with it and I'll show you what I can see through the camera. So the camera is also really cool because you can see almost 180 degrees. You can see 160 degrees which is like a pretty big uh, range. So it'll be interesting to see how she interacts with it. And maybe I can get her to do some tricks on it because there's a two-way microphone. So I'm going to try to talk to her and see if I can get her to do some tricks. So let's go. Ellie, come here. You want a treat? Shot. Good girl. Ellie, sit. Sit. Oh, good, oh, girl. good girl. Lie Ellie, down. lie down. Lie down. Good girl. Good girl. Down. Ellie, down. Ellie, get back. Ellie, get back. 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 Yes. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over, Ellie. Roll over. Yes, good yes. Girl. That was crazy. Good job. Good girly. Like that. You're so smart. You're so smart. How do I get them out? How do I get them out of there? Good girl. Good girl. Roll over. Yes! Good job, baby. All right, so as you guys can see, it was a huge hit with Ellie. She's super intelligent. I was not expecting her to actually do tricks through the camera, um, but she did. She surprises me every single day. So another thing about me is I get really anxious when I'm away from my pets. If you know me, you know I have a camera on my pet room at all times. I have a camera on my pigeons. I have a camera on my tegus downstairs. 
just so when I'm away, I can make sure that they are safe at all times and I can just like watch them, make sure everything's okay. So now I have a camera that I can put on my dog while I'm away and I can also interact with her through it. So that's pretty cool. The other thing that I really like doing for my pets while I'm away is putting on music. Sometimes for the birds, I'll put on like some classical music and stuff. So the cool thing about the Pet Cube Bites too is that there is a built-in Alexa in it. So you can actually use Alexa to automatically dispense treats or you can use it to play music or do basically whatever you would do with a normal Alexa. You can use it to find a vet or check the weather or whatever else you wanna do. Me personally, usually through my Alexas, I play music for my pets while I'm away. It's just something I've done for a long time and I think they enjoy it. So it's also really cool that I can play music for Ellie while I'm out of the house to maybe help calm her down. She doesn't get super anxious, but I'm thinking for a dog that is anxious, it would be really nice to be able to talk to them, hear them if they're barking and be able to play music for them. Alexa, play classical music. Getting classical KUSC station from iHeartRadio. The other super cool thing about the camera is that there is pet motion alerts. So you can get an alert if they are active or if they are making sound, it will also alert you, which is really cool because if your dog is wandering the whole house and they happen to wander past the camera, you can get a notification and you can go and interact with them or check on them and make sure they're okay. You guys can also get a Pet Cube subscription if you are interested in it. It's a yearly subscription that allows you to go back and look at videos that were taken by your Pet Cube. Um, it's not a necessary thing, it's completely optional, but it's pretty cool. Plus it has smart alerts for barks and meows and human recognition too, which is really nice, especially if you can also use it to double as like a security camera. Um, me personally, if I have a pet sitter coming into the house on my way on vacation, it's nice to know if there's a person in the house. So I like to have my cameras with human recognition so I know if there's someone in the house and if there's not someone in the house when there should be, then I'll know. So if you guys are interested in getting the Pet Cubes camera, you guys can click the link down in the description below. If you have one already, or if you get one, let me know how your dog likes it. Ellie obviously really likes it, so I'm really looking forward to working with her in the future through the camera. It would be really cool to see how many different tricks she could do just using the Pet Cube camera. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!